Um, whenever you're ready. All right, so today I'll be delivering a presentation on the physiological and psychological responses in sports injuries. And uh, this is by Tom Forbes. So the first part I'll speak about is the physiological responses with injury. The physiological responses occur in when an injury takes place, the body's physiological mechanism, which is basically sort of like a reflex, activates to repair and protect the damaged tissue. So say if you get injured in your leg, your body instant reaction is to go get, get to that part and help repair and stop further injury from occurring. Uh, next part is about damaged tissue. Uh, when the injury takes place, which is in the primary stage, the body responds in many ways. Damaged tissue to the, bod to the body, such as muscle muscles, the body initiates the primary damage response mechanism. Uh, the signs and symptoms, signs would be uh, inflammation, bruising, bone sticking out or bleeding. Uh, symptoms would be pain, stiffness, tingling or loss of feeling and possibly dizziness. Uh, these can be caused by external trauma or overload to the FIT, which is frequency, intensity, time and type, uh, which is where an athlete overworks on the, the principles but also uh, repeated load, friction and pressure can cause inflammation which is related to a high amount of sports injuries uh, such as dislocations, breaks, fractures or sprains. Uh, importance of scar tissue in the remodeling phase is a critical thing as the process of remodeling helps to restore the tissue to its original state as close as it can. Uh, the more critical the injury, the more time it takes to restore damaged tissue to the original form. So, uh, if it's a major injury, it may take longer, like an extra couple of months or weeks. So, uh, if the correct treatment is not performed, then the injury area will take longer to heal and may not heal in the correct way and become disformed. So, if you're not getting the right uh, rehabilitation or you weren't given it, then it could mean that, say, that broken bone might not heal in the right place, so when you're trying to walk, you might not be able to walk the same, or you may not be able to run. Um, next one is specific to sport to injury. So the symptoms and signs of various injuries can may be different, which is why it is so crucial that you remember this when doing your initial diagnosis. For example, third, second and first degree sprains and strains uh, will be different as well as the physiological responses will be much different as well as uh, the different stages, different versions of a sprain obviously can have different signs and symptoms and may differ from like being major to not so major. Uh, the Physiological, psychological responses is the mental part of an athlete where they cope and accept their injury and how they are going to go about treatment such as rehabilitation and keeping in that mindset that they, get, they will need to actually cope and get through rehabilitation. Uh, the responses to injury is uh, first one is fear which obviously they're scared of getting injured again or scared that they won't be able to come back to their sport and perform well for their team. Uh, stress and anxiety will come in place as uh, they can get this during competition but can get worse when injured. Also can lead to uh, physiological issues as like in their mind they may not think they have it in them to do it so their body won't be at that stage of pushing themselves. Uh, next would be motivation as some injuries can take longer time to heal than others which is why athletes motivation can decrease over time as like they might start to give up as it's taken too long for them as it's like a longer time they've taken to heal. Uh, anger would be one as 
as they might be angry at themselves as they might think it's their fault of the injury or somebody else's fault. Uh, depression would also take place as some athletes may get critical depression and they become withdrawn from people and social media and their team basically. Uh, last one would be frustration would take place. It is, it is a common issue for athletes as they're fr they get frustrated that they're not doing anything or craving that physical activity that they're so used to as a professional athlete. is It's all about physical activity in their daily basis so not having that would be a, a massive thing in their, their life. Uh, responses to treatment and rehabilitation. Uh, responses would be like anxiety as uh, this can relate to too many stages too many stages of the injury due to being unsure of treatment or rehabilitation so they're anxious that what their the person is helping with their rehabilitation might not like bring them back up to their full recovery. Uh, frustration would also take place as athletes can get frustrated when they cannot see immediate improvement of their condition as it may take obviously a, a long period of time including like that as motivation would come out, frustration would like come in. Um, and obviously they would, they get frustrated as they can't do much at the start because of their injury. Uh, another one would be a need for motivation is over time their rehab, their motivation would deplete and they wouldn't know what to do. So with this person that's helped with their rehabilitation would help to kind of keep their motivation going to work hard and uh, as because the rehab might take a little bit longer than usual so uh, the person that's helping them would just need to get them encouraged and keep them going so that way they return to their sport quicker as if the right rehab is, tr is given to the athlete they may be able to return to their sport earlier than expected. Uh, Last one would be use of goal settings as this can help to motivate the athlete to reach their goals so that they'll work, work as hard as they possibly can to uh, get them back to that the stage they were, they were at before they left their sport or possibly even further so increase their ability. Uh, four common sports injuries and how to treat them. Uh, I've got Number one, I've got ankle sprain. So a common ankle sprain can be generally be treated with uh, anti-inflammatory medicine, uh, ice to help with the swelling, and uh, support such as a, a late stage such as a boot, which would help to kind of keep it in that position so it can heal, or a wrap or ankle brace just to give it that extra support that it will need while it's recovering. Uh, another one would be a groin pull, as uh, a lot of athletes, if they don't obviously stretch out, this can occur. Um, you treat this with a cold pack, such as a, an ice pack, and uh, keep pressure to de decrease bleeding and swelling. Then the athlete will need therapy, which will include a lot of uh, stretching, as they need to make sure that part is stretched fully. Uh, recovery position, so if like there's nothing wrong with the athlete they're just unconscious uh, you would just need to tilt their head to clear airways uh, make sure the head and neck are in straight line uh, then keep the hip and knee bent to a 90 degree angle to keep the athlete stable and comfortable then then the last bit is usually uh, casualty ha put the casualty hand to support head which needs to be lower than the, below than the body to let fluid drain from the athlete's mouth just in case so that they don't obviously choke on their own spit or anything else. Uh, last one I had a common sports injury is shock uh, which you would basically uh, lay the athlete down if possible and then uh, elevate their legs to roughly uh, 12 inches high and then keep, you just need to keep the athlete comfortable while being treated, while he's, he or her is being treated if necessary. And then uh, 
trying to keep their mind off it so that, that way like, it's less painful for them basically. Um, so now I'd, I'd just, uh, I'll basically be showing you two of these common treatments uh, on my uh, associate here, Adam. Um, so I'm going to show you, the first one I'm going to show will be the recovery position. <coughs> So, okay, so, uh, what are you guys doing? 